All right, Nice Kicks fam, I'm George Kill, and we're here with the one and only legendary Nasir Jones. How you doing, man? I'm good. How you? Good. We're catching you fresh off the Grammy, so how was everything with that? Well, the vibe thing. Yeah, yeah, I was doing that thing. So that was my Grammy moment, and I hung out, had some parties to hang out at and stuff like that. So yeah. that was all good. All love. Shout out to Vibe. All right, and first I want to give a shout out to DJ Ski for opening up the Ski Lodge. This is my first time here. You been here before? No, nah, this, is, this is my first time. So we're here today to talk about your new business, 12 AM Run. Yeah. Tell us about it. 12 AM Run, man. This is a sneaker store that's opening up in Las Vegas, and it's um, everything you need. You know, we just just happy to be a part of this whole thing. I feel like a lot of people know Nas, the rapper, Nas the father. Give us some insight on, on business, Nas. I just do what I feel like doing and try things out. Some things work, some things won't. But you know, um, I've come this far to know how much things work. You know what I mean? I've been through enough of back and forth doing things that I didn't really put out there publicly till I got to a point where I could trust in what I was doing more and you start to hear more about what I'm doing now because I know what I'm doing more now. So the things I'm doing are, are, are pretty official now. Right, right. And I want to say you and Nick made a hell of a decision as far as location wise because you're in the link area. You got the high roller wheel in the back. Not to mention, you know, that's like the busiest pedestrian area in America. So you'll have a lot of foot traffic coming through there. It's a dream come true. You know what I mean? Like it, Vegas is, uh, is, 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 um, you know, worldwide known, man, and, you know, who wouldn't want to do something in Vegas, you know? I always knew I would, you know, but it, it just needed it to be right. And you've always, through your lyrics, even in your latest album, on the song You Wouldn't Understand, you say you were a sneaker addict. So, even though you've been into it all, this whole time, why now? Why, why pick a store now? The timing is now, you know, it's just that I met uh, Nick. Um, um, no, I met Nick, period, you know what I'm saying? And, and and that was it, you know, Nick is in the sneaker business, knows it well. I bought, everybody wants to do a sneaker store. Everybody that loves sneakers, you know, everybody should do a sneaker store that can, because there should be an abundance of sneakers everywhere you go. I want to land in Tennessee and know where to go find sneakers at. I want to land in Miami. Everywhere I go, I, I want to know before I land, where could I shop? Let's get into the store. Um, what's the significance behind the name 12 AM Run? Well, for me personally, when, I, when the name came about uh, between the crew, for me it was like when I land in Vegas, it's usually on the late side, you know? So for me, my idea was that it would be a tw 24 hour store. So we could land in there, buy your sneakers, and then hit up the club, you know what I'm saying? But um, we're not 24 hours. So <laughs> 12 AM Run, man, is, it just sounds like, uh, it just sounds like, you know, we're ready. The name 12 AM Run, to me, it means, um, you know, we're taking this fashion that's generally known to be on the court, on the field. When people hear the word sneakers, they think on court, on field. And we wanna, we wanna grow it off the court and off the field. So we wanna show them that we're not necessarily going for a run when we put on our, our fly knits or our freeze. We might, you know, our run might go down at 12 a.m. That means, you know, going out in Vegas and doing that. So that, to me, is the meaning of the name. The build out is gonna be dope. The feeling I wanted to give our customer was the feeling that usually is only delivered to a lot of high-end customers in Vegas. Like you walk through the nice casinos, the nice malls, it's the same shopping experience with a different roof over your head. You've got your Louis, your Fendi's, all those type of high-end stores. And you walk through and it's art and it's lavish and it's beautiful and it's like, the problem is no one can afford it, you know? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give that art, that music, that presence, that, you know, spectacular windows to my customer. So maybe the kid that only has 50 bucks or 30 bucks in his pocket but can still come in and buy a pair of stance socks or a snapback and have that experience that this is the big stage of, of, of what I love. Instead of bringing you know, some high fashion supermodel to the strip like you might get in a Chanel store or whatnot, we want to bring P-Rod, we want to bring Swizz, we want to bring people like that and give our customers that grandiose like experience that usually is only catered towards the high-end shopper. And for those who don't know, you have you have experience with this already. Yeah, this is uh, my second go around, third store. So I actually founded uh, the store Crossover. That was fun to build and grow. Um, this one came about with uh, Rick Caruso, and he actually is the guy that developed the Grove in LA. Uh, so he's a big, big player in the, in the retail development world. 
So when he came knocking, it was uh, it was a, an opportunity to really jump at. And then, you know, teaming up with Nas, it just got better. And I'm excited to take something that I, I've done, I know and I'm passionate about uh, in a city that I've seen it really um, work, you know, and, and, and do it bigger and better. When you first walked in, I noticed the, the hat. Yeah. 12 a.m. run. That's the collaboration with Starter. Yeah. But tell me what other brands will you have in 12 a.m. run? My brand history, if we can meet some deadlines, we'd love to get that going in there. But the brands that are already out and popular now that everybody's rocking, I'm wearing, I'm wearing Pink Dolphin. And, you know, we, we want them in there. We want all the, all, everything that's hot. Before we close, we're going to get into a few music questions. Like you said earlier, you were honored at the Vibe Impact Awards by J. Cole who really looks up to you. Yeah, shout out to J. Cole, man. He mentioned the song, I Give You Power, and he said that song kind of changed his trajectory of, of rap. What's a song that, that did that to you? What's a song that you heard and you were like, oh, I'm gonna be a rapper? Mm, Cause I'm Fly by Coogee Rap, Daryl and Joe by Run DMC, Down by Law and Left Me Lonely by MC Shan, some of uh, Cool J's first album, Cool J's second album. Cube stuff. Another young gun in the game, Kendrick Lamar. He's been on record saying you're, you're a fan of his. He didn't win a Grammy. People thought he should have won one, but Macklemore won all those. What is your advice to Kendrick Lamar? Um, I like watching him, man. You know, I like watching him. I'm just excited for the new album. I'm excited for the new record. Yeah, I think that's all that matters. Your father was a jazz musician from the South, so you have Southern ties. What are your favorite rappers from down South? Um, well, J. Cole's there, Big Crit, Scarface is the Don, straight up, Rose, Bun B, Three Stacks, Big Boy. There's a long list. Right, right. Yeah. And my last question, what can we expect from you musically? in the future. Our 20th anniversary to my first record comes out this year. So we're going to send that off real right. And um, I don't want to say nothing else right now. I just want to say I'm very proud that um, I was in the studio years ago and put out a record 20 years ago. That's crazy to me. So I'm really in a celebratory mood because of that. And um, that's all I'm saying right now. Last words, 12 a.m. run, man, um, Las Vegas. You know me, that's, that's the only way I know how to do it. You know, I, I mean, since my, my video, Street Dreams, I shot in Vegas years ago to now, I'm, I'm, I'm in Vegas, man. I'm out there, so I'm happy to be there. Thank you, Las Vegas, and um, to the whole crew, and look out for 12 a.m. run.